I'm responsible for leading the group of dietitians that are looking at updating the nutritional requirements section of the handbook and instead of basing it on um, evidence from um, healthy populations, we're basing it on evidence from sick populations. The underlying principle of what we've done has changed radically. What we've done before is we've said we are basing the estimation on requ of requirements on BMR equations for healthier populations and adjusting it for people who are ill. What we're doing this time is we are only using data generated in clinical settings. We are only using data where the, the methods that they used were validated and that the studies that they undertook were undertaken in a rigorous, as rigorous way as possible in a clinical setting. We're collating setting. it according so to how metabolically stressed the patients are, rather than necessarily by disease condition. We're also looking at whether the patient is in recovery phase or whether they're metabolically stable. And we're looking for indicators in the literature about that that will help us tie energy requirements to indicators of metabolic stress. We're using formal guideline methodology to actually um, identify the literature, uh, collate it and then evaluate it and comment on the quality of the literature that we're going to use to underpin the guidelines. I think dietitians have to uh, seize the challenge of being seen as the people who know about this kind of thing, about how to estimate requirements. And I think we're the only profession that has the um, underlying knowledge to um, underpin the estimations of requirements. Anyone can do it with a rule of thumb, but dietitians, after they've read this chapter, should be able to do it with a great deal more confidence in the evidence that they're using.